In this video, I'm going to deal with a collection of problems in calculus. All right, here's the first part of the video. So this part contains questions on functions. All right, let's go ahead. The first question here is a function f from arrow to arrow is defined by f of x equal to this. This is actually a piecewise function, a function that is made up of three pieces. f of x is equal to minus x squared minus 1. If x is less than 0, it is equal to minus 1. If x is equal to 0, and it is equal to x squared if x is greater than 0. The question is, find the value of f of minus 3. Now, when dealing with functions like this, see what we do. We have to find f of minus 3. So, I will make use of just one of these functions, but which one of them? Now, s is less than 0. Of course, minus 3 is a number less than 0, right? x equal to 0. Th minus 3 is not equal to 0. x is greater than 0. Minus 3 is not greater than 0. So, it is... In this interval that I can find minus 3 because minus 3 is a number less than 0. That means I will use this piece to evaluate this uh, function. So f of minus 3 will be equal to, in place of x, I'll write minus 3. Minus minus 3 squared minus 1. Minus 3 squared is positive 9. So this is minus 9 minus 1. And this is equal to what? Minus 10. So, f of minus 3 is equal to minus 10. The second question is, the set of all values which the argument x of a function can assume is called the domain. We have domain, codomain, and range. The set of values for which the function can assume all input values, all input values, they are called the domain. All right? All output values, all possible output values, they are called the codomain. Then for the range, those elements in the domain that are directly connected or that are directly mapped onto those elements in the codomain, we have them as the range. So the range is, this, is actually a subset of the codomain. Right? I've explained this in my video on uh, functions, the first video in this playlist on calculus. So you can watch to understand in details what I'm saying. But for this question, all input values that the function can assume for which it is defined is called the domain. Now, the function defined by g of x equal to e to the power of x plus e to the power of minus x is what? Okay, this is odd. B even. C, not defined as x equal to 0. Now, I want to start from the last option here. At x equal to 0, is this function defined? If I plug in 0 for x, e to the power of 0 plus e to the power of, this, to, this will still be 0. This is 1 plus 1, and that's 2. So, at x equal to 0, the function is defined. So, this is not the correct option. Now, I want to check for evenness or oddness of this function, whether the function is even or odd. This is g of x. g of x is um, e to the power of x plus e to the power of minus x. What is g of minus x? Look at it. This will be e to the power of minus x plus e to the power of minus minus x. Right? g of minus x means in place of x, I'll write in minus x. So this is uh, equal to e to the power of minus x minus minus will give me a plus that is e to the power of x can you see that what is here as g of minus x is the same as what we have as g of x so if g of minus x is equal to g of x it means that the function is an even function remember for evenness g of x is g of minus x and for oddness g of minus x is equal to minus g of x so this function is actually an even function now question four if f of x is equal to x squared we have to find an expression for f of x plus h minus f of x all divided by 
h f of x is x squared so what is f of x plus h it is simple i will simply write x plus h in place of x in this function so that will be x plus h then i will square it f of x remains that is um, x squared so it means that f of x plus h minus f of x all over h equals this f of x plus h is what s plus h all squared minus x squared which is f of x divided by h all right i want to expand this if i expand s plus h all squared it will be s squared plus 2 uh, x h plus h squared minus x squared all over h s squared take away x squared so we are left with 2xh plus h squared over h h is common to the numerator and the denominator so if i factor out h this will be h into 2x plus h divided by h h cancels h so what's left 2x plus h so given that f of x is equal to x squared f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h is equal to 2x plus h and we can see this in option d question 5 find the domain of the function g of x equal to 1 over the square root of 2 minus x plus 5 domain is the set of all possible input values of x for which the function is defined if i look at this function i can observe two things Number one, it is a rational function, that is, it contains a fraction. And secondly, there is a square root involved. Okay? So, uh, this is it. If the denominator of the fraction is zero, it becomes undefined because one over zero is actually something undefined. Right? Division by zero is not possible. So, this square root must not be zero. And the only way the only way this square root now will be zero is if two minus x is equal to zero the only way i can get zero here which will make it undefined is when the value inside two minus x is equal to zero from here now it means that x will be equal to two if we make x the subject of the formula x is equal to two that means if I say 2 minus 2, 0. The square root of 0, 0. 1 over 0, undefined. The function becomes undefined. But is it only when x is equal to 2 that this function will be undefined? No. For example, if I have the square root of minus 6, under the set of real numbers, it is not possible. Right? So we are trying to guide against any number that is less than or equal to zero inside the square root so the number in this square root must be a number bigger than zero not zero itself not less than zero you get what i'm saying so i will simply say for g of x to be defined yes for g of x to be defined this 2 minus x, which is inside the square root, 2 minus x must be greater than 0. And this implies that 2 must be greater than x, which means x is less than 2. So, this is the set of all possible values of x for which this function is defined. This is our right domain. x greater than less than 2. In the number line, I always like to do this. In the number line, we have from this is minus infinity, this is plus infinity. Two so is here. So numbers less than two, they are from here to here, right? So these are the numbers that will satisfy the inequality. So how do I write this in interval? The options are written in interval form. I'm gonna say minus infinity to two. Writing it this way. Means that 
two is not exclude is not included in the set and we are going to wear minus infinity is actually an infinite set okay the the set that forms the domain is infinite okay now question six when is the function said to be bijective a function is bijective if it is both injective and subjective injective that is one-to-one -one function Subjective that is onto function. So this is it. Question eight. Let f of x be equal to two x squared plus x plus five. We have to find c such that f of c is equal to f of zero. All right. First of all, what is f of c? F of c is obtained by replacing x with c. That will be two c squared plus c plus five. And what is f of 0? This will be 0. Everything here will be 0. This will be 0. This is 5. So if f of c is equal to f of 0, it means that 2c squared plus c plus 5 is equal to 5. So everything here is equal to everything here. And this implies that 2c squared plus c is 5 minus 5. 2c squared plus c is equal to 0. So that if I solve this quadratic equation, c is common to both terms at the left hand side. We're having 2c plus 1 equal to 0. So by implication, either c is equal to 0 or 2c plus 1 is equal to 0. And if 2c plus 1 is equal to 0, if I make c the subject of the formula, it means that c is equal to minus 1 half. So, C is either 0 or minus 1 half. And that is option A. Question 9. Let F be a function from arrow to arrow. Be defined by F of X equal to this. This is similar to the question in uh, question 1. Find the value of F of 3 minus F of minus 3 divided by 6. Let's see that. So, what is f of 3? First of all, what is f of minus 3? Then we now solve. f of 3 is this. There are three pieces. Alright? This one holds when x is less than 0. And this holds when x is equal to 0. And this holds when x is greater than 0. So, which of them will I use to evaluate f of 3? Of course, 3 is greater than 0. So this one will work. So to determine f of 3, I will say it is equal to 3 squared. And that is 9. What about f of minus 3? Minus 3 is less than 0. So I will be using this. So this will be minus, minus 3 squared minus 1. Minus, minus 3 squared minus 1 and we have minus 3 squared is positive 9 so this is negative 9 minus 1 and that is negative 10 so f of minus 3 is minus 10 it therefore means that f of 3 minus f of minus 3 over 6 equals what is f of 3? 9 what is f of minus 3? minus 10 so this will give me 19 over 6 right okay let's convert it to an improper to a missed fraction 6 into 19 now the 3 times that's 18 remaining 1 over 6 this is it question 10 find the domain of m of x equal to the square root of 9 minus x squared the domain of this function is the set of all possible values of x for which this function is defined for a square root function, it is defined whenever the value inside the square root is always bigger than or equal to zero. Because the square root of a number that is positive is defined, but for a negative number, it is undefined. For zero, it is defined. So all negative numbers 
for this square root to be excluded. Now I will say the function is defined when 9 minus x squared is either 0 or bigger than 0. So it is either greater than or equal to 0. And this means that 9 is greater than or equal to x squared. And this implies that x squared is less than or equal to 9. So this is what inequality says. This inequality is equal to, uh, if I have x squared less than or equal to an, a k, for example, it is minus the square root of k less than or equal to x less than or equal to the square root of k. So this means that minus the square root of 9 less than or equal to x less than or equal to the square root of positive 9. And this is minus 3 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 3. So this is the domain. 3 is included. Minus 3 is also included. So I'll write like this. This is different from 3, 3. They are not the same. What this means is that the endpoints are not included. But this means that the endpoints are included. Of course, they are included because we have equality. All right?